Hi guys, John from Extreme Athletics. Um, first I want to say thank you for taking an interest in what we're doing here, um, what we're trying to create. And today I want to talk to you about core, hopefully give you some good tips on how to develop your true core. So when you hear a person like me, a fitness professional talking about core, you always end up hearing about your rectus abdominis, your six pack muscles, which it's, that's great to be on the beach, but not that great for surfing. Your stabilization, your true core is made up of three different groups of your local, global, and movement stabilizations. It's really 15 muscle or muscle groups added in. This is only one of them, and in my opinion, probably the least used in surfing. What we want to key in on is things like your internal obliques, your transverse abdominis. It's a main stabilizer for um, rotation. These are muscles that are going to help you be better out in the water. So what I have here is three exercises for you. There's gonna be one for your upper body and core, what I call a plank punch with a march. We're gonna do a bilateral and a core as well, endo squat with rotation, holding light dumbbells, and then a unilateral to key in on that stabilization aspect, that eccentric motion of endo um, squats with a wood shot. So if we go right over here, I'll show you what those are. So the first one, like I was talking about, is gonna be for our upper body stabilization and core. And what you wanna do is take a physio ball, you're gonna put your forearms on there, core real tight by bringing your belly button in toward your spine. You're gonna reach out with your arms without creating any kind of dip or hike in your hips, and then pull back. You're gonna do that while marching on a single leg. You wanna do this about 20 reps for two to three sets. So then for your next one, I want to work on a bilateral exercise, so basically using both our legs and our core together. You can get something like an endo board, which I think is great to build up your balance and key in on that core. And what we're going to do is a simple squat with rotation. So standing in a balanced position, you're going to go into a squat, rotate around, back to center, and stand. For this one, you'd want to keep the weights light, six to each reps to each side, again two to three sets to really feel it working. Your last one, you just need one of these dumbbells. Again, using the endo board, this time with a disc. You're gonna stand right into the center. This is a great one because when we're on a single leg, we're gonna key in on a main stabilizer in your lower body, being the glute med. And then with the chopping motion, we're gonna kick in that transverse abdominis, like I was saying before, a main stabilizer in rotation. So what you wanna do is go into a single leg squat, chopping across your body. Make sure you keep your chest up with a long spine, core tight, right back up. You wanna do about 12 reps here, two to three sets on each side. All right, so again, that was a good way to focus on all these different muscle groups in areas of stabilization, working your upper body and core to prevent common um, shoulder injuries that we see, a bilateral movement for movement patterns and being able to dial up the power when you're ready, unilateral movement to be able to control the rotation and increase your flow. Make sure you stay tuned. Next week I'll be sending you a video on how to increase your strength. Thanks guys.